Hi, it's me, Ellen. Um, it's actually Sunday today and we just had a nice afternoon walk and I went to yoga this morning, uh, which is very unusual for me on Sundays, but it felt really good. Um, so now I felt inspired to do these little videos and since I worked um, during the whole week on our first um, update for Pukeko supporting the Gutenberg plugin, I wanted to um, share some stuff I learned and especially uh, walk you through all the Gutenberg blocks again that are currently available in the plugin and I think they really um, uh, better to use now um, compared to the last video I made so I just want to um, like especially if, if you haven't used um, Gutenberg or tested Gutenberg yet I just want to give you a little um, preview how it will look like and what kind of um, content blocks uh, you can use and how you can um, create your pages and posts better with Gutenberg so um, I just give you a little um, walkthrough and introduction about each blog and just um, share this information with you. So I hope you find this super helpful and of course just ask me any questions or any feedback you have in the comments below. I'm really uh, looking forward to a conversation with you and I will do more follow-up videos and if you have any questions just ask me. Um, about um, e-videos I should make and stuff. So uh, yeah, let's just get um, started um, walking through the Gutenberg blocks as they're available at the moment. So now I'm here in my admin area and I've created a blog called Gutenberg Blocks just to show the blocks of Gutenberg and to test it with our Pokeko theme, which I just recently prepared to work with the Gutenberg plugin and already show the theme style. So um, I wanna show you how this all looks now. And as you can see, once I hover here over the post, um, as soon as I've installed and activated the Gutenberg plugin, I can still always switch to the classic editor when I, um, I have this option here below the titles, but of course I wanna show you the Gutenberg blogs and the post how it looks. So I open it um, just regularly and it will show the Gutenberg editor. Here in Gutenberg you always have um, the option for your entire post. You can choose your categories tags, featured image and so on. And then um, you have also the option once you um, click on a block, you have options for the specific block you have just clicked. And you can also always hide this entire setting to have more space just for writing. Um, and uh, here we have the settings option. And since I want to show you the um, real post too, I will click on this preview button here and in a new tab it shows the actual front end of my theme, my Pokeko theme, and I have it here on my local server. So this is the actual um, theme and I have not activated the sidebar option. So I have just um, a really nice um, blog post, a single column blog post, and um, this one is my featured image, so this is the only thing you don't see in Gutenberg. And then you just see the Gutenberg blocks, and I added paragraphs and full width images, uh, full, um, full screen images, full width images with captions and so on, so I really tested out um, all the headlines, I tested all the blocks, the two block quote styles and a lot of other images, the cover images, pull quotes, I included an audio block, tables, uh, some galleries, code, a uh, verse, so I really tested uh, an uh, divider, I really tested all the styles, I included lists and so on, so this is the entire post. And now I go back to the real editor and as you can see, I'm just scrolling down. It looks pretty much the same. So this is a full screen image, just a normal paragraph, a full width image with a caption, a regular size image and so on. Uh, all the titles, block quotes, the big block quote more images, the cover image in full width and a full screen mode and the pull quotes, and the audio, tables, the gallery, code, verse, pre-formatted, a separator, uh, a button, 
So as you can see, it all looks exactly the same as in the um, actual post and I can scroll up again. And so this is really pretty cool. Um, I show you how I edit the blocks. So I just have this default um, paragraph here at the beginning and I maybe um, show the settings for the blocks again just to show you. And then if I just um, click a new uh, tab, it opens up the new option for a new block and I can either add blocks here. I get a preview of all blocks I can use. I can search for the blocks. I can use one of the suggested blocks. This is blocks I used a lot before. Here I get a um, list of all the blocks. So in the beginning is the most common block, blocks, uh, formatting blocks, layout elements and widgets. And here I also have options for embed and shared blocks. These are blocks that I previously um, saved as shared blocks. So I can use them again anytime on my pages or posts. Um, but I just want to go through all the default blocks here and show them to you. So um, I click on my empty um, block here and as you can see at the right side of the um, empty area, I get the option to um, either add an image, a headline or a gallery. And this is also um, an option because I've used these blocks previously quite a lot. So I get this um, suggestion for further blocks. Um, so these um, icons can change but I just go to all the blocks and I just start with a paragraph. Now I need some text. And um, the text is not styled anymore as um, in the default Gutenberg, but it's styled exactly how it's gonna be styled in the theme. So this is how we prepared the Gutenberg, uh, the Pukeko theme already for Gutenberg. And of course I can use bold text and I can um, add links, italic styles and so on. And it will all um, automatically show up with the styling of the theme. So that's pretty nice. Uh, here is just a default image and how it works is just um, I select the image block and I can upload image uh, I can upload images or use images from my library. So I just choose an image and I can include it. And here I have the option to use the wider image or even the full screen image and it will adapt to. So if I use a wide image, I can also add a caption for the image. And this is also the styling of the theme. So it's really nice to work in this. And again, um, if I don't need the block options, I can just hide them. So I really have a lot of space here. I found it also nice to uh, hide the or collapse the um, WordPress menu here. So I really um, have all the space, even though I'm just working here on my laptop. Um, so this is super uh, nice to use. Again, I can um, add another block here. I showed you the image. Now I could um, just use a heading and by default I have the heading um, two, three or four, but I could also add um, further headings. I show you this. Um, so this is the big headline. If I want to change it to another headline, I can open my block settings and here I have all my headlines from H1 to H6. So I could also choose a smaller headline if I wanted to. And this again is the default style of um, Pukeko. I can center the headline, I can right align it or left align it. So it's super nice to use. I really like the um, Gutenberg at the moment. I think it improved a lot the plugin already and I actually can't wi uh, wait until it's really um, released. I think I'm not sure how long it will take. I hope not too long. Um, I really like how it's going. So um, at the moment I'm adding a gallery. So I just choose my images and I include the gallery. 
and you can see it already looks um, the same. I can, if I click on it, it gives me the option to upload another image uh, or I can just leave it with the three images. And of course the gallery is a nice uh, option to make this a white version. So I just uh, click off white width here and I go to my preview again since I made some changes. So this is an image we added and some text and as you can see it's the exact same text style here as uh, later on on the actual post. And I added these headlines here. Uh, where is my gallery? I think it should come up here. Ah, here is the white um, gallery I just added. So as you can see, it looks um, the same here as in the actual post. So that's really, really a nice advantage. Here I added uh, a code block. So I just show you how I did this. I open a new block and I choose the code formatting here and it looks already um, like later in the post with the light gray background and um, I can add my code here and again um, later on it will have the exact same styling so that's super nice. Uh, the separator I can show too. So this is a separator. It's a nice um, tool if you want to have maybe just two paragraphs and maybe show them like this. And now in between I want to use a separator. So I go on blocks, um, separator. Here this is under the layout options. Ah, separator. And I have, I think, do I have options for this? No, I don't have options here for the separator. So um, it just comes like the Pokeko design. I'm just seeing that I think we should add options to make this one um, available to be centered. So I think in the next update we will do that. For now I go back and put the paragraphs like this or maybe we have to change the design a little bit from the separator. If it's not possible to make it centered, uh, I will have to look into this. Uh, this is the default button and of course I can choose my custom color here for the button and I can also choose a custom text color Oops, or a white text color. This is uh, are some um, colors we use in the Pukeko theme that we select like pre-selected as a custom Pukeko color palette and we'll add more we will add more colors to our theme uh, later on in the next update so just as a first update uh, I used um, the default three colors just our link color and black and white here I added some list styles so as you can see, you can really just play around with the blocks and um, try out all the block. Here's the list um, block. I tried the separator audio file. I've showed that. So um, for formatting, I can also include HTML, the pull quote I showed. Uh, maybe I can show that again. And here I can uh, write a little text for the pull quote. So it's really nice experience, I think, to um, prepare posts in Gutenberg. And again, I um, show you the preview. So here's the pull quote I just wrote and it's exactly the same styling. And this is really super nice. So I think it's uh, really nice at the moment to um, use the blogs already. I wouldn't recommend it to use Gutenberg on a live website. Uh, maybe a small little blog where you really just um, started out and you haven't had a lot of um, posts um, published already. And you have a really straightforward, simple theme. You can test it or you can always um, 
install a WordPress locally and test it there or maybe create a little uh, test log on a subdomain or something. Uh, but it's really nice to uh, play around with it. And um, if you're using Pukeko, our WordPress theme Pukeko, or you plan to use it, um, we prepared the theme now to um, be compatible from the styles. And we, of course, continue to update the theme. Um, as uh, Gutenberg develops further and uh, we also plan some further design updates so it's gonna be really nice and we're really looking forward to your feedback. I hope um, it was uh, nice to see the different uh, options you have and um, just let me know in the comments below if you have any further questions. I love to hear from you and um, yeah I hope this video was helpful. Um, thanks for watching. Bye!